How does Santa Claus get into houses without chimneys? In this video, I'm going to answer that super important Christmas question. Hi there, I'm Dr. Barry Fitzgerald, the superhero scientist, and on this channel, you're going to find videos about superheroes, Star Wars, and of course, Santa Claus. When Santa Claus started delivering presents, almost every home that he visited had a chimney. Nowadays though, there are lots of houses without chimneys and of course there are apartments and apartment buildings and each apartment doesn't have its own chimney. And while the chimney provides an escape route for the smoke from a fire, it was also Santa's main way of getting into a home in order to deliver presents on Christmas Eve. Given then that lots of homes don't have chimneys and apartments don't have chimneys, what solution has Santa Claus devised in order to deliver presents to homes without chimneys? Well, Santa Claus turned to technology to solve the problem, and here's how that technology works. First and foremost, Santa Claus and the elf scientists developed a detection device that can find a Christmas tree, like this one, or Christmas decorations, like the decorations on this tree, inside a home. With this information, Santa knows exactly where he needs to go in a house or an apartment without a chimney in order to deliver the presents. The next issue to solve is actually getting into the apartment or the home without the chimney, and that's where physics comes to the rescue. And it's all thanks to teleportation. Santa Claus and his elf scientists have developed a teleportation device that allows Santa Claus to teleport into a home or an apartment so that he can leave the presents as close as possible to the Christmas tree. And when he teleports, it might look like this. So how does it work? Well, everything around us, including Santa Claus, is made of atoms. Atoms are the building blocks of everything around us. They're kind of like the Lego blocks of the universe. And atoms need to be put together in particular ways to make certain things. And some atoms that I'm sure you've heard of before include gold, silver, titanium, oxygen, and carbon. The teleportation device used by Santa Claus analyzes his body and figures out how the different atoms in his body are put together. It then converts all of these atoms into pure energy while at the same time taking note of where each atom is with respect to all of the other atoms in his body. Then the teleportation device sends the energy that's behind the atoms in Santa Claus's body and the instructions to put all those atoms back together to a location in the house or apartment that's as close as possible to the Christmas tree. Once there, the energy that was sent into the house or apartment is converted back into atoms and those atoms are then all put together to give you Santa Claus. Just think of this whole process like a Lego set. The atoms are the Lego blocks in the set and the instructions that's sent with the energy is kind of like the instruction book that you get with a Lego set. You need both the Lego blocks and the Lego instructions in order to build the Lego set. And with teleportation, you need the atoms in the form of energy and those instructions in order to rebuild the person. In this case, that person being Santa Claus. But wait a minute, what about your presents? Well, don't worry, your presents are also made of atoms too. And Santa Claus's teleportation technology can analyze the atoms in your presence, convert them into energy, and send them along with Santa Claus into your house or apartment. And there are some very important advantages associated with this teleportation approach used by Santa Claus. First of all, if Santa Claus isn't going up and down chimneys, he's not gonna get as dirty as he would have in the past, like this guy. Second of all, when he's inside an apartment building, Santa Claus can easily teleport from one apartment to another because of his teleportation technology. Like this example, imagine that Santa Claus finds himself in the apartment on the left and now he wants to get into the apartment that's beside that. Well, he can quickly then teleport into the next apartment, leaving the presence in that one, and then swiftly teleport onto the next apartment and do exactly the same thing. 
And of course, because of this teleportation technology, Santa Claus doesn't need to fly his sleigh from house to house. And this can, of course, save energy for him too. Santa Claus could, in fact, just park his sleigh on one house or at the top of an apartment building and then just teleport between homes. And once he's finished, just teleport back to the sleigh. So there you have it, the technological way that Santa Claus delivers presents to houses or apartments without chimneys. First, he detects the location of the Christmas tree or the decorations, and then he teleports into the home. Thanks for tuning into this video about some of the science of Santa Claus. And if you've liked this video, be sure to check out my other videos on the secret science of Santa Claus. And of course, subscribe to this channel to keep up to date with more videos. And you can also check out my book, The Secret Science of Santa Claus. I've been Dr. Barry Fitzgerald, the superhero scientist. And until I see you next time, always think super.